so today we are going to discuss how we can create synthetic data for our machine learning projects okay so here basically I will create data for my classification model and I will use the scikit-learn package and in the scikit-learn package I will use this make classification okay so uh, basically now it is time to import the libraries so let us go ahead and let me run this cell so you can see that this particular cell is running okay so let it finish and what I will do meanwhile uh, let us utilize the time and I would like to write some code so for this I will simply the function name is also make underscore classification okay so as the name suggests that we are definitely going to make a fake data set or generate the fake data for a classification model and here you can see that we have created a very simple data and i have not provided any uh, input or parameters to this make classification model and if i show you then you can see that i it has created me some numpy arrays and here you can see that it has also created a class so let us make it more meaningful and what I will do that I will simply check that uh, what the dimension of the data is okay and uh, the shape of let us do it this way the shape of X is and shape of y is and I will simply provide here uh, here and I will simply provide that what is the shape of my x and uh, what is the shape of my y shape comma y dot shape so you can see that it has created me a shape of 100 so it has created me a data frame of 100 by 20 but you might be thinking that it does not make very much help for me so we will now use some uh, parameters and we will also see how we can simply create or convert this uh, data to a pandas data frame all right so for that purpose i will simply rewrite this code and uh, uh, let us say that that parameterize it. Is it? Oh, that is that seems funny, but let us go with that. Uh, consider it a, a markdown. Sure. So now I will rewrite this all thing, and I will say make no not plus make underscore classification, and I will provide certain parameters. So let us say that you say that I want to uh, create uh, 100 samples. So we can say an underscore sample. So you can any at any time shift, uh, uh, press shift and tap. And this will basically give you all the, uh, all the parameters. Okay. So you need to remember it is shift plus tab. Okay. Now I will simply write that I want thousand records and I want an underscore features equals to let us say 15. All right. Now if I show you the same thing, then it sh it shows that uh, 100 rows and 15 columns. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's make it more meaningful. So let me right here let's make it more meaningful oh and it is an adding sure okay now uh, i will simply copy this and uh, let me so here i have opened the scikit-learn also go to this url if you want to learn more about it okay so for now i will simply press shift tab and I have opened the documentation here. So let us say that I want 1000 rows and uh, 15 features. That is fine. Now you can provide also that an underscore informative. 
so it is basically how many informative or meaningful uh, uh, features you want then you can write an underscore redundant so these are redundant features they, those do not make much sense and uh, so this is basically now I am uh, making my data such that for you can just go ahead and try out as per your requirement you can read here so redundant we all know what it is and simply you can also say that an underscore duplicate so I think we have something as duplicate let me check again what was the name so it is an underscore repeated not duplicate sure so an underscore repeated and let us say I want uh, two repeated columns okay and I can also provide an class so how many classes you want so this is my uh, let us say I want to create a data frame for binary classification I can say that I want a uh, 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 not this I want to create two classes in my data so now you can see what do we have here so you can see that uh, what went wrong why I did not get the shape of Y and shape of Y is oh, should be here and the shape of y is same thing goes here and now so you see that i have 1000 by 15 and i have shape of y so we have 1000 rows in the y column that makes sense and uh, if you want to check that uh, how many uh, unique values we have so you can also check it and let me import numpy and what I will do that np dot unique uh, import numpy as np np dot unique okay and I'll provide my y so you see that I have binary class here and this is my 0 and 1 but let's say you want to create a data frame for multi class classification so remember see here that you can create more than two classes also and uh, let me show you that what do I have here so I have three classes all right and that's cool so we have everything here now let us say that you say that uh, let me print so this is my X and uh, this is my Y it looks funny it does not look to be much helpful uh, in order to understand uh, so let us say that uh, you want to create a data frame out of this so you can simply write pd dot data frame and uh, basically you can now provide your x and y okay so uh, this is basically something that you can do and uh, now if you will see then you can see that I have my columns here if it is about naming uh, these are written like this so in that case uh, what you can do that uh, you can simply uh, go ahead and uh, create you know uh, you can just uh, uh, let me see what we can do then okay this is my x only that is what it was looking so funny so let me use the np.c to combine x and y and now if I show you then you see that I have all my columns here and my target variable here so you see that two one two one okay so now it looks good if you want to rename these column then you can simply use the pandas rename function also uh, you can check out that and then you can rename your column names also so this is basically something that uh, we have created a synthetic data frame here and uh, you can just go and and now it is your pandas data frame and you can do make build models we have created the custom data here we have created data as repetitive we have created informative columns we have created features as we want we have created the number of rows we wanted we have created a repeated column in case you want to do certain analysis on that basis and we have chosen what are the classes so this is a very easy and simple way i hope you have liked this video please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and i will see you in another video thank you for watching